Hello, everyone. This is Eduardo Ochoa, your president, um, sending you a message here from uh, from home, sheltered in place, uh, to all of our faculty, staff, and students uh, who are, like all of us, going through this uh, wrenching set of events and changes that are happening as a result of this coronavirus pandemic. Uh, as you know, um, the virus is spreading uh, rapidly and uh, there's been a series of quickly escalating measures that have been taken by the authorities. Uh, in our case, the, the biggest change was when our Monterey County Public Health Office declared a shelter in place order, uh, which uh, required us to fully transition to uh, virtual delivery for instruction, which will start on Monday. We were already heading in that direction. Uh, so this uh, just simply made it more complete. We thought we might be able to spare some labs from this transition, but that was not to be. And our faculty have been working uh, diligently this past week, trying to make that transition. And uh, I, my hat is off to you and I'm very indebted um, to the faculty. I'm impressed and heartened by how they have taken on this challenge uh, with great uh, tenacity and, and aplomb and uh, are doing the best that can possibly be done under this situation. Um, students, uh, I know that you have also been impacted. Um, this is actually requiring most of you uh, who can who can do so safely to leave the campus and to uh, go back home. Uh, I understand this weekend there's been uh, quite a uh, uh, an exodus uh, of students um, being picked up by their families and, and leaving our campus. Uh, we have already um, uh, asked our most of our staff to stay home um, and um, this will continue with only certain, uh, just a few staff members coming into the campus for performing essential functions, but otherwise the campus will, will not be uh, operating um, with, you know, a, a, a lot of the activities that we normally engage in. The whole point of this, as you know, is to try to reduce the, slow down the spread of the pandemic so that uh, at any one time, uh, the capacity of our healthcare system is not overwhelmed by the, the sick uh, and the greatly ill. So um, that's why it's so important for everybody, whether you're healthy or, or, or not, whether you're young or old, to, um, to practice um, social distancing measures, which means uh, staying six feet away from each other, washing your hands often, avoiding to touching your face, uh, particularly your eyes, nose, and mouth, to try to slow down as much as possible the spread of this disease. It will spread eventually, but it, it's very, it's critical that it do so slowly because when it does so, uh, it means our healthcare system can handle the people that are, that, uh, for whom this is, uh, hits them particularly hard and they'll be able to save many lives that otherwise could not be saved. So this is very, very important. We're really all in this together. Um, this pandemic really has, I think, driven home the fact that we are all an interconnected human family. Um, and I think that it's also bringing out the best uh, in many of us. And uh, I'm very proud and uh, humble and heartened by how the other community has responded uh, to this um, unprecedented situation that we're in. Um, so I, I want you to know that I'm, I, I, I feel um, for you and for all of us, I understand all of the wrenching changes uh, and that uh, are happening. The fact that our seniors won't be able to uh, have their commencement at the usual time this year, we postponed to some later date. Um, fact that many courses are disrupted. Um, I understand that the fact that faculty are having to cope with a, a, a transition that is unprecedented in scope and speed in terms of the modalities of instruction. It's all a tremendous challenge. 
but people have really taken a very uh, positive and do collaborative attitude. And I'm just really awed by your dedication and uh, your heart. So uh, know that I am with you. Uh, we will get through this together. I know that the auto community will respond, will continue to respond as it has so far. Uh, and we will come out of this eventually and we will go back. We'll be stronger than ever. So in the meantime, please check our website often for new information. Um, check the CDC for any information and um, be safe. Take care.